Let's go ahead and finish the assembly. And so I'm going to attach this leg to these three axles in parallel with the first leg we put on there. So let's zoom up here, put a revolute right, uh, let's see, right there and right there. And we need an offset of 0.25. Let's see which direction. It's always the other direction. So we'll accept that. And now we'll need one right there. And so let's do that right there and right there. And an offset of 0.25 minus 0.25. And um, you can see that one up there already locks in without a mate. And so I think I'm going to leave that alone, even though, I mean, it doesn't have a mate, but it can't really go anywhere else. So uh, let's go back to the, the driver mate and animate it and see what happens to make sure it's behaving as we want it to. It looks like it is. So now I need to attach this one to the other set. And so I'm going to click on it and use this tool to rotate it roughly into the direction it wants to be in, or it should be in. And now I can begin. Now this one has to be brought in. This one came in an inch. Let's see if this one it should be an inch, I think. So Revolute right there and right there. Why didn't that work? Let's try that again. A Revolute that hole with that axle offset an inch minus one about there okay and then the next one we can do is up here so I can come here let's at an angle you can kind of see the axes there we go, and there we go. And two, of course, needs to be at uh, minus one. And let's accept that. And shift seven. And let's animate it. Oops, not isolate. Animate. Okay, there it is. Now what we need to do is bring in the platform which is uh, right here. That is a platform, isn't it? Yeah. And the small blocks, which are used to attach the platform. So let's um, let's rotate this guy into the orientation we want to have. About right there. And then put these on here like this with fastened mates. So let's take a fastened mate and I'm going to go to this face. Hold shift and it'll stay on that face. I'm going to go to that corner right there. And I'm going to go to that corner there. And actually that's not what I had in mind. Is that what I had in mind? I think it is. It is not. I mean, this one should be the easiest one. Let's do this. So on the top of this guy, right at that corner, and then underside of this guy, right at that corner. That's correct. And then same way for this guy. Fastened mate. right there, and then the underside of here has it right there. I think that's correct. Now what's left, I think, is just to put the um, put the small block onto here. So let's try that with a revolute from right there to right there, and we need to come in yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't bring over the whole thing. 
until you press OK when I have like mated pieces to be mated again. So let's just go with that and you see that's what I mean. So that one I think is a little too far over, right? You can see it's touching over there. So let's get out of that one, come back in and modify that revolute to make that only about minus 0.75. How does that look? Still maybe too much. Minus 0.625. That is not enough. I should have worked this out before doing this problem. Let's do minus 0.7. Kind of a weird number. But it appears that it's, well, it's not symmetric. It's not hitting anything. All right. So I think that's right, yeah. So shift 7. OK, the final thing I need to do is get a uh, tangent constraint between the bottom here and the edge right there. And let's see if that did it. Come to our driver mate, animate, I'll speed it up just a little so we can get some feedback quicker. Yeah, I think that's working. All right, so that is our uh, scissor lift assembly doing its thing. Thanks for watching.